<laughs> Yo everyone hope you all happiness. I love you all. What is up, Gear Club, and a warm welcome back to another Gear Live live stream. How goes it? I hope everybody's had a wonderful, wonderful start to their week. It is Shiny Hunting Monday, which means we are back with more Yo! Shiny Hunting. Hey, man. Hello, hello, Brendan. Hello, how goes it? And hello, Bruger, as well. Uh, I just realized I didn't pop out my Twitch chat. That's not really all that useful. Um, all right. There we go. There we go. All right, yeah, today we are continuing on with our Krogunk hunt. I am gunning for a box full of shiny Krogunk, which we'll see how realistic of a goal that is. Uh, I'd say it's not all that unrealistic with how well last stream went, but this stream's probably going to go a bit differently because today I'm not shiny hunting in Scarlet and Violet. I'm shiny hunting in Sword and Shield. I'm doing um, eggs. I'm doing the pseudo method in Sword and Shield today. Um, to continue on, we'll be getting our Pokeball, Great Ball, and Premier Ball Krogunks all in Sword and Shield. Much like we got our Ultra Ball Gunk in Sword and Shield as well. Um, so I, I feel like that hunt isn't going to go all that well. One then, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I have known, uh, what's it called, Masuda streams to go on for a while longer though. So we'll find out, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into things, so I think. No need to dawdle. No need to hang around too long. I'm also realizing I didn't transfer my Volcarona back over, which means that uh, I am going to be gunning at this with a Talonflame, who is, I think, on par with wild Pokemon levels. Do I have any candies? Oh, I do have a few candies. Okay. Let's get these used on Talonflame. 78, that'll do, that'll do. All right. I don't know, you are good with your current moveset, Talonflame. Alright. Hi there. Uh, my Pokemon was holding an egg. I don't know what egg this is. I'd like to take my Pokemon back. Oh, it's the Noibat Hun! Of course, I forgot that's where I left off. Um, I would not like to take the Ditto back uh, for... I would like to leave Krogunk. All right. It's weird how they removed the uh, leveling up properties of the daycare. Um, I'm honestly kind of confused by why they did decide to do that. Um, at day's end, I'd like... Obviously don't have that many opinions about it. I, I it, it, it just baffles me a little bit. Best of luck made him out, so should be back in an hour or so. Fair enough, I hope you have a great hour or so. No shiny Dondozo yet? Ah, fair aim. Best of luck, hopefully you get one soon. Uh, you said chain in the Discord. You're not, like, trying to chain hunt the Dondozo, right? Alright. It was removed because it overwrote moves. I mean, yeah, but you could remember them. Like, I feel like that couldn't have been the sole reason, right? Like, especially in Sword and Shield. Like, I guess Alola relearning moves was more of a pain, but in Sword and Shield, it's fine. Um, We've got the next Gunk Egg. Hello there. Oh, I need to get a box sorted for where these guys are going, actually, now that I think about it. Alright. Let's figure out where we have an empty box. I think the answer's nowhere. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say... Quick detour. Because I need to get some empty boxes. Which means that we're going to be releasing a bunch of Pokemon right now, actually. 
You're training off a gimmicky colossal. Best of luck. Meteor Beam, Scald, Power Gem, Flamethrower, Terra Water. Ah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully that goes well. Alright. Yeah, let's get rid of all these EV. Unneeded, unfortunately. And, um... What was it called? I will, uh... Release the Stun Fisk in the other box as well. So I like having a good 60 so I can release them all at once, you know? It's just a good number to get rid of all at one time, I find. Um, I should have done this before stream, uh, but I forgot I had to do it. <laughs> I forgot that this was a step in the process. Uh, Alright. And then Stunfisk, which was another Pokemon I was... Uh, Hunting. Maybe I will continue that hunt at some point. Gala Sunfisk is quite funky. I do like it. Um, I'm still miffed it didn't get an evolution. You know? I feel like a Sunfisk evolution would have gone very hard. Um, I just remember taking it through most of the game. Expecting it to get a new evolution. Like uh, Obstagoon and stuff. And then like... I was like, does it, does it not? And then I looked it up, and it didn't, and I was like, shit, man. Shit. To be fair, I was just leveling it up and checking stones. Like, uh, if I chose Yamask instead, I would have been no more successful. Because, uh, you know. That thing's evolution method. Alright. Almost there. Um, hey. Hello, Rob. How goes it? I hope your week's gotten off to a good start. We are shiny hunting Krogunk in Sword and Shield today. Mixing things up a little bit. Right. There we go. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty solid in this corner. Had a nice chill day. Did some editing. Oh, first egg hatching already. This should be the Noibat, unless the Krogunk hunts, unless the Krogunk eggs are quicker. Which they might be. Nope, this is the Noibat egg. Alright. I will not count the Noibat. The Noibat, oh! Well, this one is one to count. This one, this one here, we should count. Alright. First, Gunk. Of the strong. Yeah, except for a migraine, but they always happen, or hopefully you're feeling better now. Alright, I'm gonna put the Noibat away immediately. Just so we don't have to deal with the Noibat, you know? You can go with the other Noibat, yeah. Alright. How's things your end? Yeah, yeah, pretty solid, as I said. Um, needed to get some editing done today, so sorted that out. Um... Found that we have an ant infestation, though, which isn't good. Uh, I'm not sure if the ant's nest is in the walls, or if they're just coming inside. Um, which is a bit concerning. Uh, currently have some ant killer out to kill the ants. Hopefully, that works. I would appreciate it if it worked. Uh, I would not like ants in the house. But those are a hard hunt without an outbreak. Yeah, I bet. Sandwiches are probably summoning all the stuff. A lot of wasp types in that area. But you got this. Alright. The poll said you have to get it, so like... By law, you have to get it. Keep out those pants. Precisely. Precisely. Um... So doing training other hunts in the meantime, as in you're waiting for... Aim, are you... are you defying the poll? Are you defying the poll results? You posted that poll in Discord. 
You do know that's like the war, right? Oh, another egg. How fast? Right. And now, we can start, uh... Yes, fuck. Poles, you have an opinion. You do, but you, you, you put it to democracy. That was your, your that was your opinion was to get our opinions, and you've rejected it. How how cruel! How dastardly! I will keep this in mind whenever you ask for my opinion again. Um, absolutely despicable. All right. I find it funny the Discord have added this poll feature. You can't, like, disable it. You can't stop people from doing polls. Maybe this isn't things I should say out loud. Uh, I ask you not to abuse the poll feature, uh, or I will ban you in the Discord, to be clear. Um, abuse being like spamming it with like nonsense. Um, but you have to, it's like kind of poorly thought through. For what's meant to be, like, a community thing, you know? Like, to be fair, I'm sure there will come a point when people almost entirely forget about it, like soundboards. I feel like soundboards aren't that remembered anymore, because, like, they just aren't. Um, it's a fun feature to use occasionally, but... Um, I wouldn't know how to poll. Barely know. <laughs> Can barely use Discord as is. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, I just find it funny that they've been like, yeah, here's a new feature. Uh, anyone can use it. You cannot disable this. Like, if you want to stop people doing polls, you have to stop them from chatting entirely. Which. Hashtag old. I can't get that post out of my head where someone said that they were like 27 or something and then someone else responded, did you know him? With like a picture of the dinosaurs. Like not a dinosaur, the dinosaurs, plural. It was just an image. Probably found on the dinosaurs in Google Images. And it hasn't left my head. Has not escaped my cranium. <laughs> Relatable. Alright. Trying to remember what numbers I need to be on. Because two laps should be ten. Yeah, two laps is ten. Because there are five eggs in my party and one talent point. Because obviously there can't be six eggs in my party... Because if there were six eggs, then uh, I would have too many eggs. Um. I'm not going to say who this is in case something happens again for the third time. You see, now you've entered with, like, a question, but hello, Emma. I hope your week's been going well so far. Although, uh... The phrases you're using suggest smite. Uh, but I'm shiny hunting for Krogunk today. I'm trying to get a box full of shiny Krogunk. Um. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Uh, you get any shinies lately? Any fun shiny Pokemon? 
All right. Nine, almost to ten. Trying to figure out how many encounters we're going to get today. Because I remember it used to be about 100 a stream. But, um... I've been streaming longer since Sword and Shield Shiny Hunts were things I did. Um... Like... So, I, I can't really gauge it. I guess we'll find out. Find out the hard way, you know? Alright. We'll try to shiny hunt a swine up. A swine up is cool. It's not the Don Dozo you promised. Alright. Don't really play Pokemon anymore because of nine bugs. I've been playing Mario Kart. Ah, oh, I do love a good bit of Mario Kart. think. Have we had a Mario Kart Monday this month yet, or was that in March? I'm unsure. When was the last Mario Kart Monday? It was. It was in March. It was late March. Maybe we'll do the next Mario Kart Monday soon. Mr. Me and Felix, hello. How goes it? How goes it? I hope you both have, uh, your weeks have gotten off to a good start. You guys get any shinies lately? I guess you did do an accomplishment. You beat all the target scores in the mini games of Final Fantasy VII, and to beat the super boss that comes with it. Oh, that's hype! That's hype! Congratulations. Oh, I think I got a bit too focused on hatching eggs. Um. Yeah, things are going pretty solid in this corner, except the ant's nest. I found, in my house. All right. Um, by the way, can I show you something on Discord? Don't want to say it out loud. Uh, if you send it on Discord, I can check after stream. Can't play Pokemon in at least a month. Unbelievable. Someone isn't committed to the grind. Shaking my head. More egg. More egg. Alright. Tell them ants to fuck off. Ah, shit. I'll try that. Um, there's about 30% uh, uh, or so all with hard difficulties. Oh, no. There's 30 or so all with hard difficulties. So apart from fighting like 10 more gauntlets of fights and um, beating hard mode, you'll be 100%. Yo, that is very hype. That is very hype. Um, you're beating the Elite Four in Scarlet right now, so you can get the Scarlet Paradox Shinies. Oh, nice, nice. Best of luck. Alright. Um, sent it, uh, born it private. That's fair, that's fair. I'll check after stream, I'll check after stream. Uh, but I will, I will check it, I will respond. Speaking of Discord, nice timing, Nightbot. My Discord server. Where you can uh, vote on Amos polls, which he will disregard the answers to. That's right, I don't know if anyone here voted on Amos polls, but your opinions were not valued by him. Just wanna. Just, just wanna put it out there. <laughs> The only shiny Pokemon you need for your Poldea Living Decks are the starters uh, and the Scarlet Paradox exclusives. Ah, fair, ah, fair. Um, that, is, that is not many at all. Best of luck. Poldea Living Decks being like the whole 600 Pokemon or 400 Pokemon in Poldea, or do you mean just the Pokemon introduced in Gen 9 that aren't locked? Literally one of your hardest games you've done to 100%, and you've done Bloodborne and stuff. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, I don't know much about uh, the Final Fantasy completion rates. 
But uh, best of luck all the same. Just the ones introduced are fair. Well, still, that's uh, that's not many left. Best of luck. You know which you're going to look for first. No. Right. You're at 85 out of 99 court. And you forgot you also need Wug Trio. Ah, Wug Trio. Such a funny name. I feel like they should have given Wiglet and Wog Trio a new special move that is called Wog. Wig, sorry. That is called Wig. And I don't know what Wig would do. Maybe it would be Dive but Shitter or more exclusive or something. Um, but I think they should have made a new move called Wig. Specifically for Wiglet and Wog Trio, you know? Shouldn't a Lowland Dog Trio also have that, really? You're right. You're right, actually. Don't know how I didn't think of that. You are 100% correct. Might do Great Tusk first. That's fair, that's fair. Great Tusk has a good shiny. Um, should have been part ground type. Maybe. They do live in rocks. Like, they do, they do still, like, live in the ground of the water. But, uh, it did mean they're not quad weak to grass. Which is pretty good, you know? You love not being quad weak to grass, I find. It would have been pretty brutal, especially in the early game. Uh, with, you know, the grass-type gym leader. You had to do 17 phases for one shiny wigglet. Oh, you mentioned you were doing- you'd done like 8 last time, but it was 17 in the end? Were you just doing, um... How was it called? Were you just doing... Sandwich hunting instead of, uh, eggs? Sandwich, Arthur. Yeah, I can imagine um, that would be a little brutal. Might stop using Harbor Mysticus? Where? As in just because you find shiny hunting too easy, aim or? You'll put the picture in the Discord? Hell yeah. Maybe I should make a shiny hunting channel. I don't know, I'll think about it. I guess the Discord uh, doesn't seem that much use in general, chat as is. So maybe just. Uh, Trying to encourage more stuff would be a better idea anyway. Got lucky on Timber? Ah, uh, fair. I mean... I mean, yeah, Shinies are very common in Scarlet Violet, especially if you have the Charm. But I just make it a... make it a game to see how many I can get. How many of the Shiny I can get. In the stream. Which is sometimes just one. <coughs> Cleavor. <coughs> that was crazy, that Cleavor hunt. Alright. Creating channels for shiny hunts uh, for recording. It doesn't sound like a bad idea. It's a good idea. I think it would be a decent idea. But um, I feel like the Discord isn't busy enough to justify it at this point, if that makes sense. I feel like it would just be making channels for the sake of it. You know? I guess I could post my level 1 Giratina. Oh yeah, you didn't uh, You didn't post that, did you? What ball is this Krogunk in? This is a Pokeball Krogunk. Um, yeah, this is a Pokeball Krogunk. And then I've also got a Great Ball and Premier Ball lined up for this. To do in Sword and Shield. Um. Alright.
I think we should have a shiny shiny for the Discord. I don't know. Again, I feel like it would just be adding something for the sake of it. Like... We've already got, like, a solid chunk of channels. I don't think we need to add another one unless it's, uh... Unless things start getting busy. Got to go. Fair enough, Aima. Hope you have a great rest of your day. If chat starts picking up and the posts are getting, like, that buried, then I will reconsider it. But, uh... Again, I just... Think it's pointless making 60 trillion channels when each one's going to get used once a month, if that makes sense. By the way, regarding the Egglock Pokemon thing, by legal moves, is it just whatever it gets at level 1? It is whatever it gets. As long as it can learn that move at some point, it's legal. There's no real pickiness to it, it's just, uh, as long as it's... Yeah, cool, they are going in there. Alright, let's just double check our numbers. Uh, but, no, 6, 12, 18, 20, 22. No, 23, we've got 23. Wait, can you explain what an egg lock is? Um, basically an egg lock is... When... You get a bunch of eggs. I think some people do it random, but uh, often YouTubers do it submitted. So you guys submit a bunch of eggs to me, a bunch of Pokemon to me. Um, and then I hatch them at random instead of getting encounters over the course of the Nuzlocke. Um, and I have to use those instead of uh, just the random Pokemon. Whether someone gives me, like, the most broken Pokemon they can think of, or a Magikarp with Splash and Bounce. So you have to trade? Uh, nope, nope, not at all. Um, there is a link down below, or you can use exclamation point egglock on YouTube or Twitch, and I'll give you a link to a Google form. If you paste a Pokemon um, exported from Showdown into that, then... Um, And then submit the form. Uh, that'll be loaded into the egg lock when I start it. After I finish my Pokemon uh, Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Uh, to make the Pokemon, you just have to make it in Showdown. Or just make sure you make it in Gen 7. And then export it. And then paste it into the form. Um, but anyone can submit eggs, uh, up to three each. Three is the total. Um, and I'd highly recommend it, because it'll be very fun if we can have a bunch of eggs. Alright. Alright. I just realized, what if you get something you see first instead of what you want? As in, with this hunt? Or do you mean for the egg lock? Because uh, sword and shield, um, obviously overworld encounters don't appear shiny. For the egg one. What do you mean, what if you get something you see first? Oh, oh no, I get you, I get you. I mean, I just wouldn't be able to, right? The point of the egg lock is, is it's random. Um... It's a... I'll roll a randomizer. You think you did it? Nice, nice. I mean, yeah, as long as you've uh, followed the rules set on the form, which I believe I set on the form. Um, 
the egg should be accepted all okay. Yeah, okay, first stage Pokemon have legal moves and abilities, not have any EVs. I probably should have specified, uh, not legendary. I think I might re-specify that. Example, you catch uh, whatever's in front, uh, make eggs with it and trade. I mean, I won't be doing it through trading, I'll be uh, loading them on with a different program. As well as loading up with rare candy so I can level them up to like... I guess that's why people capture wild Pokemon. So... They have a base level to train the egg to. Because I was going to do it, like, a lot of egg locks do it. So you go into the grass, catch a Pokemon, and then you swap that Pokemon with the egg. And I felt like that was just adding an extra unneeded step, you know? Like, I guess it gives you the opportunity to fail, but how often do you fail capturing a Pokemon is, like, my first point. And my second point is, like, that kind of limits the amount of eggs that will be used. Less people will see their eggs get used, which I think is a shame. But I guess it's to, like, know what level you're leveling the Pokemon up to, right? I guess you also have to catch Pokemon lately in Allah and stuff. Maybe I will do the catching Pokemon bit. We'll see, we'll see. I will think about it. Alright. Now then. Almost at a box full of gunks. Let's just check that. We should be at 25 in the box. And... Okay, we're at 28, not 27. I think that eventually when you beat Ultra Moon, you go back and up the Poi Pole. Um... I mean, I won't be able to transfer it for reasons. I do want to hunt for Poi Pole at some point, but it'll probably be later rather than sooner. Um, might end up being a, being a while. But Poipole and Type Null are definitely hunts I want to do. I wonder if there'll be any accidental repeats. I could very much see there being multiple Rainer. Stuck it in a bank for now. You'll get home again eventually. Um, it's sure taking you some time. To get home or? Um. But yeah, I feel like uh, multiple crow gunks. Oh, to get Poipol, of course, of course. Yeah, 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 no, that's fair. Well, best of luck. Hopefully you can get the little bee, the little wasp soon. Yeah, Shiny Naganadel is a very cool shiny. So, uh, it is definitely a hunt on my radar. Can you get Poipol through Dynamax Adventures? Wait, so will they evolve in the normal way? Yes, I'm allowed to evolve them and change their movesets and whatnot. It is not. Ah, that's a shame. Oh, you get given it by Peony, right? Or am I mistaken on that? It's a gift mon uh, that you get when you catch Necrozma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peony gives it to you, right? Alright. 
but it's all shiny lock. That's a shame, that's a shame. Okay. Just making sure uh, all my boxes are set up to handle the fact I'm just about to fill up one. Um, don't want them to spill over, eh? Once five Ultra Beasts are um, a court, it appears. As in Naganadel or the Poipole gift? Because now I'm getting conflicting information. Poipole gift. Ah, fair. Wait, so is it five UBs on a Krosma then? Alright. Five Ultra Beasts, you got mixed up. Ah, fair, ah, fair. I wonder if we'll see the Ultra Beasts and Paradox Mons again, and like how we'll see them again. Because, like, it's not like they can just put Iron Valiant on Route 13. You know? There's, like, lore behind it. Specific lore. It'd be a shame if the next time we saw the Ultra Beasts were in, like, a Legends game or a Unova remake. You need Necrozma, then you can find Ultra Beasts in Adventures? Huh. Didn't realize they were locked behind Necrozma. Now that I think about it, maybe I haven't seen any Ultra Beasts yet. Have we seen any Ultra Beasts in Dynamax Adventures, Rob? Five UBs and Necrozma. Okay, it's both. I see, I see. No, as in we haven't fought any Ultra Beasts. Anyway, it's a shame they locked that and type null in this game. It's weird because they're sh available as shiny in the previous game. I guess that's maybe why we should have been um, uncertain. They were going to shiny lock the Scarlet Violet ones as well. The legendaries you find there. Um... But yeah, I guess Ultra Beast could appear in, like, another Legendary Rush or something. I think it'd be fun if we got, like, post-game events relating to Paradox Mons and Ultra Beasts in the future. You know? Like. So there's that gentleman that who he, he gives you, like, the snacks that the Legendaries like to eat. Um... I know we did a couple others at the beginning, but no UBs. Yeah, I was thinking that there were no UBs. I think the first few Dynamax Adventure streams uh, were just regular. And then it took me a bit before we started hunting for specific things. Because at first I was just fine with anything. But uh, then Necrozma got added to Scarlet Violet and I wanted a shiny one. You can find Ultra Beast before catching Necrozma uh, if you're not the leader of the deck. Um, yeah, 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 that makes sense, that makes sense. But most of the time, I am the leader, so. No Ultra Beast until we get that shiny, I guess. Oh, well. I got my priorities, aren't I? Right. But yeah, it'd be fun if that was like an Ultra Beast expert who's like, they're appearing here for some reason. I guess Luka could be that character, really. It's a shame we haven't seen him in a while, you know? We haven't seen him since Sun and Moon. Was He He wasn't even in a BDSP, was he? Which is a weird omission. I guess it's not, because they were faithful remakes and whatnot, but... Just finished the Elite Four? Hell yeah, congratulations. Oh. I was about to talk to her when she wasn't ready. And then she immediately got ready after, and that's kind of whack. Um... 
Oh yeah, um, people were flipping out over Koro Koro today. I find it funny, because people were like, Oh boy, are we so back with Koro Koro news, and it's like, no, we're not. Koro Koro have always reported on the latest trailers and information from Pokemon. It's just, uh... There came a point when they stopped reporting the new information. They, they don't they don't give the new stuff anymore. Pokemon, the Pokemon company themselves manage the new information for games. So before you get any uh, funny ideas about Koro Koro, I don't think we're going to get any new information. Although, uh, they did show Mega Salamence on one of the pages. Which uh, implies that uh, Auras Megas are probably going to be there. Um, it would have been surprising if not, but I feel like that's just a final confirmation. Um, and apparently they used the term New Lumios. But uh, I don't know how new they meant. As much as that might mean some that might mean something, it might also just be a specific weird way of phrasing it that translated poorly or something. Because from what I've heard, the translations that people were doing was a bit squiffy. Well, I don't think I've unlocked all of them, to be fair. Uh, need those legendary clues. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, I thought you unlocked all the legendaries from the beginning, right? It was just uh, the Sun and Moon ones. In fact, not even the Sun and Moon ones, just... Uh, the Cosmos Sogaleo Lunala. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get any actual news. Not the UB, UBs. Ah, fair. Wait, have you caught a Cosmos then? Alright. But yeah, I find it funny that uh, we're very much in, like, get getting to the phase where people are, like, craving news. You know? No, the only ones you've caught are Suicune and Safu. Ah, fair. But yeah, it's funny, because we're in that, like, phase where people are craving the new news. They're, they're craving information on the games. I think things are going to go a lot more... Co I think people are going to be on a lot more copium for the next few months until we actually start getting information. Which, again, I don't think we're going to get information for a bit. We barely got any news about Legends of Arceus, right? Like, they really didn't do much. Uh, promotion for Legends of Arceus. Like, they announced, like, Bastion Legion, Voltorb, Zoroa. So we got a few announcements of the new Pokemon, but, like, all in all, we really didn't hear much, did we? Especially in comparison to, like, a new gen. So I really wonder how much news on CA we're even going to get. I'm sure we'll get an actual trailer soon. Uh, in fact, not soon. I'm sure we'll get an actual trailer, but uh, said actual trailer... I, I still don't trust it's going to be before. I'm going to say before July. My bet is September. I think September. I could see it coming before July. No, I couldn't see it coming before July. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's a shame we don't get the Koro Koro news anymore. It was always fun, like, uh, hearing about the leaks a few days before the magazine released. And uh, seeing, like, the new scans and stuff. I remember uh, the hype train for Auras. Because by Sun and Moon, they kind of stopped letting Koro Koro announce stuff. I'm guessing because they realized international fans were all clawing for Koro Koro news. 
Um, so, like, why force fans to continue through the translation when you can just officially announce it all at the same time? It makes a lot of sense. But uh, it's, 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 it's a shame, because I do remember it always being hype when Yukoro Koro stuff came out. Always a lot of excitement buzzing around. But I don't think we're back to those days, unfortunately. I would be surprised if... Um, we did get any new information from Koro Koro, like people are seemingly expecting at this point. people being unreasonable. Apparently, Americans are getting mad at, uh... Hey, he's Mango, hello, how goes it? I hope your week has gotten off to a good start. We're shiny hunting for Krogunk today. Um... Did you, did you find your old base in the end, or has it been erased? Gunk box, gunk box! You got sent a different thing. That was the old server. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. I was wondering if you were on the old server. I felt like you weren't, but you might have been. Music has stopped. So the time being, it seems to be gone. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Hopefully, hopefully it's not entirely gone. It's lurking in some file somewhere. Oh, we've already got another egg prepared. Dominic, hello, how goes it? I hope your week's gotten off to a good start. We're hunting for a, uh, we're hunting for more shiny Krogunk today. You find anything interesting recently? Alright. You played a little. Ah, fair, ah, fair. Alright. What brainwave am I trying to inch out? Nope. It's gone. It is waving in the back of my head as it kind of like dissipates into the air. You know how it is. Um, you bought something great today. It's the Hot Wheels Battle Force 5 Saber. Um, Saber is the vehicle from the show. Uh, from the show. The model is 1 to 64 scale. Um, AKA the standard Hot Wheels scale. Ah, fair. That's very nice. That's very nice. Alright. But yeah, um... As I was, as I was saying earlier. Oh, already at 15. Nice, nice. Um, as I was saying earlier. I saw Americans were getting salty. It's, uh, baked, baked potato beans and cheese. You know, Jack, good old Jack of potato. Some nice grated cheese. And then beans slathered over it. One of the greatest combinations. Just a nice, simple, simple meal. Like, I regret standing idly by with the beans and toasting now. Because now they've come after jacket potato, beans, and cheese. 
unbelievable. You know? Simple meal for a simple man. Exactly. Precisely. Simple meal for a simple man. Not much to it. The crispiness of the jacket potato. The nice melty cheese. The beans. It's just a combination. That upon working together. Wonderful. Effervescent. You know. Boo America. Boo them. Exactly. Exactly. Like. I'm starting to get the picture, though. I just don't think America understands baked beans. I think that's all there is to it, really. I I think America... Americans seem to have, like, some... regular failing... to understand the concept... of Heinz baked beans. I heard someone saying, apparently, like, in American baked beans, there's, like, brown sugar, so it's a lot sweeter. Um, than in the UK, where it's more or less just beans and like a tomatoey sauce over here. But they invented those beans. You see, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. But I heard from somewhere that apparently um, there's a lot. More, there's like brown sugar in American baked beans or something. They're like actively made differently. So, like, it makes sense, a bit more sense, as to why Americans are always, like, screeching in horror the moment we put beans on something, you know? Maybe different brands? Isn't, like, different brands of baked beans? I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just repeating what I heard. Maybe I'm entirely wrong. I'm just trying to rationalize... I would think that Heinz is the same anywhere, everywhere. Uh, I mean, but it's not, though. Like, brands aren't always the same no matter where they are. Cadbury's in America is, like, much less light because they put, like, a bitter... A bitter chemical in the chocolate. That apparently tastes like vomit. So, like, Cadbury's in the States is very different from in the UK. Where we don't put that in it. So, like, just because it's the same brand in two different places, it doesn't mean the production's the same. It doesn't mean it's the same recipe. <laughs> Silly Americans and their vomit chocolate. True! Like. So, it wouldn't surprise me if, um... It wouldn't surprise me if the beans were different. Um, Red Bull in China is a small drink, but a huge hit of caffeine. That just sounds like here. I saw a Red Bull car the other day. It was like a Red Bull branded car with like a giant, giant can on the top. And I was like, if I had... A little bit more extra version of my body. I would have yelled across. Does it fly? But also I feel like they would have heard that joke already. Uh, not just that day. But probably every day that week. Isn't the original Red Bull from like Thailand or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Like Tic Tac box size small. That's like three droplets worth of drink. Like, I understand energy drinks probably aren't the best at uh, thirst quenching as is. But I don't think that would quench anything, really. I, I, I struggle to believe there would be any satisfaction. From drinking something that small. So basically one of those five hour energies. Yeah, that's more or less what it sounds like. Not really like an actual beverage as much as something you drink when you're tired.
Egg. 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 Egg! Effervescent. It's not for thirst quenching, it's uh, a caffeine hit to wake up. Huh. Bizarre. Then again, do people drink Red Bull for its taste, for its flavour? Like, I guess I just assumed, because like, when I when I buy a drink, when I buy something to drink, I buy it to like, quench my thirst, you know? Okay, what is your preferred way to cook egg? I'm not sure if I have a specifically preferred way, you know? Um... I will say my most common method... So you could argue that's preferred. My most common method of cooking an egg is a good old sunny side up. Uh, but I make sure to cook it nice and long, because I prefer the yolk to be solid. I don't like a runny yolk. I'm not a runny yolk fan. Alright. Three left. Then yeah, we're at 60, okay. I really like how it tastes, uh, actually. But I don't drink it anymore because of heart palpitations, so you got drinking them as a kid. Oh, oh, indeed, oh no. Maybe you should uh, get someone to synthesize the exact flavor of Red Bull. But into like a fruit smoothie, which would be nice and healthy and good for you. Mmm, fruit smoothie. Fruit smoothie. Yummy, yummy. Fruit smoothie. Yummy, yummy. Oh? We're already at 60, although I guess we're like an hour into stream. That's like a Krogonk a minute. That's kind of whack, actually. The Krogonk a minute. I mean, I have uh, the zero ones uh, sometimes, but it doesn't taste the same without the caffeine. Ah, fair. Alright. That, I believe, is two boxes, I mean, and a bit, arguably, but these are alterable ones. Two boxes full of Krogunk. Get all these guys released. Caffeine's never really done much for me. I'll be honest, I've never really drunk much caffeine, but, uh... Like, um... I have Pepsis and stuff. Which I guess have a bit of caffeine in them. But, so uh, I don't think it's like that. Big. And I obviously drink tea and things. Which also has caffeine. But, uh... Apparently, it puts people with ADHD to sleep. Apparently, the way the chemicals interact with the brain is actively different when you have ADHD. And instead of waking you up, it makes you sleepy instead. So, I do wonder if I should try it at some point. Well, the British person drinks tea? Ah, oh, no, I've been rustled. Yeah, I drink tea. I know. I'm basic. I'm stereotypical. But it's good. It's good. Tea is good. Brits drink, Brits drink tea for a reason, and it's because it is good. 
the leaf juice. The leaf juice tastes nice. Is that that hard to believe? Is that that hard to accept? If, if so, make like a cup of joe and leave me alone. Joe doesn't have any leaves. You know the wrong Joe. I'm talking about the other one. I'm talking about the other Joe with all the leaves. I've been drinking Ovaltine recently. What is Ovaltine? You know all the Joes. Well, then you should know the one I'm talking about with the leaves. Alright, that's almost all the gunks. Sorted. Nope, there is no Joe with leaves. Then you don't know all the Joes, Mango. Then you don't know all the Joes. You're clearly missing one. Maybe even two. I think I know a couple of Joes with leaves, honestly. Hot malt drink. Ah, fair. That's like to help sleep in it. Oh, the Joe you know are fake is that is a very bold interpretation. You know? Instead of accepting you might be wrong and not knowing all the Joes, you've just immediately decided that I'm... I'm lying to you. I think uh, you could learn to be a little bit more accepting. So maybe you don't hold all the knowledge. For I can think of at least three Joes with leaves right now. Kalaya? More like Deceiver Mango. That's right, I went there. Yeah, pretty good. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've never really drunk, um... Stuff to... Put me to sleep. Oh, wait, hold that thought. Think about the Joes more. Yeah. Oh wow, multiple in a row, okay. It's like two rapid fire. We steaming through these. Great, thanks, be back in a bit. Oh, oh I see what's happened. Um Unfortunately I believe Mango underestimates the Joes, you know? All right. Can we get an egg, please? Can we get uh, an egg? Egg? Oh, no, it's hatching again. They're hatching too quick. They're hatching too quick for my egg. My egg needs. Egg based needs. This is dismal. Absolutely dismal. Alright. You know, I have a full thing now. What the hell? Yeah, 
it took uh, five whole eggs hatching for another egg to be gifted to me by the daycare lady. Alright. Which annoys me because I like the symmetry of it, you know? I like I like get I like hatching an egg, then getting an egg. And it's slowly rotating through. I don't, I don't like it when it's like this, you know? I do believe it means we can reset the order, though, which is good. So I think we've gone a bit out of whack. A bit out of sync. Now we can get back into the sink, you know? Now we can sink back into the sink. I sink. That's pretty good. Right. It's a shame it's sandstorming today. Then again, I don't think today is today on my Switch. I think it's like in a few days. I think if you check... Oh, I could check the Met dates of some of the Krogon, and then I'd know what day it is. It's an hour behind. I'm not corrected for daylight savings. Um, and additionally... Good things so I caught this Krogonk. <laughs> in August! On the 9th of August, today... Today is the 9th of August, actually. Guess you guys probably didn't know that. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but today is the 9th of August. Where did the year go, honestly? Where did the year go? I don't know where it went. I don't know at all. I just know it's the 9th of August today. How intriguing. Uh-oh. Day after Kim's birthday. Dude, you missed it. You, you, you missed her birthday. What the hell, man? How the air flies by, indeed, indeed. It feels like every year goes quicker than the last, you know? This year especially so, it's, it's, it's zoomed by, really. Absolutely legged it. Yeah, that's correct. Alright. It'll be 2025 before long. I was looking up some information on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, because as I said, I've been playing through it lately. I've been doing another playthrough of it. Um... And, uh... A secret Twitch emote like Cat Jam. Ta. Yeah? <laughs> is, 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 is that the emote? was I saying? You yeah, know, I was I was uh looking looking on a uh, game FAQs. Um just to uh No, it still just says Tar and Mayan Bruger. Um But yeah, um I was Looking at game FAQs, Reddit, and stuff like that, and then I started realizing the posts were from five years ago. Some of the posts I was looking at were half a decade old. Um, and I 
what? No, that just shook me. Fine boom indeed. Like, what do you mean the game I'm playing is five years old? That's not allowed. In fact, that stands true for the game I'm currently playing. Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield turned five this year. They were released in 2019. Sword and Shield are going to be half a decade old. Pokemon half a decade ago to me. It's like, oh yeah, that's like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, right? No, it's Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are the ones that are five years old. Like, I don't... I feel like... Someone pressed the fast forward button. During coronavirus. During 2020. And it's only been getting faster since then. And I don't really know what... Like, is it, is, it, is it just, like, the fact that, like, when you get older, the years start going by quicker, or what? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like. I'm starting to understand why... Oh, wait. It was, um... It was, uh, the, the cat jabber with a cigarette in his mouth. I wonder if it was, like, a follower emo or something, because it's not working here, which is weird. Um... But yeah, like, um... What brainwave am I looking for? Um... No, it's, it's going, it's going, it's gone. Um... Like, yeah, I, I understand that, like, as you get older, the years are meant to go by quicker. But don't like it. Can it stop doing that? Hello, Mango. Welcome back. All right. But yeah, it's, it's it's just weird to, like, it's especially weird to realize how long the Switch has been, like, the console, you know? Like, a console. Like, it really makes it a lot more obvious that the next Switch console is coming out soon, you know? Oh. Almost hit a stuffle there, that would have been bad. But yeah, it seems I was right on my analysis that, uh, well, not my analysis, my assumption that it would be coming out 2025. But apparently it maybe was meant to have come back this year. Not come back, come out this year. Word on the street is, uh, Nintendo don't know what they're going to do this year. For, like, lineups and stuff. But then again... That's news from leakers. And I don't know. I've, like, been trusting leakers less and less lately. I feel like they have been, um... A lot less reliable as of late. You know, that one didn't work either, Bruger. Oh, no, I got a notification the other day. Yeah, yeah, no. Sorry, I was thinking about the fact that uh, the other day someone followed and there wasn't a follower notification. But notifications are still working. Brandon's still been donating, okay. And I got a follower notification at the end of last stream, so... I need to not cover... my... screen. Because, like, the area that follow notifications appear, I've been covering since I moved to OBS. 
So, like, whenever someone's followed or donated or something, I've had to, like, scramble to, like, see who it is. Yawning. What was up with that? Or even that tired probably got too much sleep last night, I'm gonna be honest. Which ain't good, because I need to get up earlier on Tuesdays. And obviously if I sleep too well the night before. Although I guess sleeping too well can often lead to... Not sleeping well. If that makes sense. You sleep for too long, I find sometimes I can be tireder. Which is fucked up. Like, what do you mean there's a sweet spot of sleep I need to have? Like, can't I just, like, stockpile it? Like, what if I slept a day and then I wouldn't have to sleep for the entirety of the next day, you know? The next three days, honestly. Like, if I slept 24 hours, I should be able to stay up the next three days awake. I guess two days. Because, like, eight is a third of 24. You need eight hours for, like, a 24-hour day. You know, Not a 24-hour day. You need eight hours for the remaining six hours of the day. 16 hours of the day. Fuck. I know the math's in my head. I'm just not enunciating it correctly. But, like, um... I think we should be able to stock for our sleep. I think we should be able to, like, sleep a bunch and then we wait for ages. Or, or, if we don't get enough sleep, we should be able to, like, catch that all back. You know? Like, if you don't sleep for, like, a day, you should be able to sleep for, like, a decent period of time after that. And then you'll be refreshed still, you know? You'll be all better. I guess that is how it works, though, isn't it? Now that I think about it, I think that is exactly how that bit works. But! The Hot Wheels Battle Force 5 uh, Saber is your next edition to your TV and movie car collection. Um, you have a lot of them 164 scale. Hell yeah. How many do you have in total? Um, oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna take a drink quickly. Alright. Down there. More egg. At 81 now. We're honestly doing pretty well into this one, I'll be honest. But it's a pretty good number. But the halfway point. We will probably get well more than 100 today. Which will be very nice. Obviously, egg odds are 1 in 512, I believe. Wait, no, is that without the charm? That might be without the charm. What are the Masuda method odds? Pokemon Squish Masuda method odds with charm. Oh, it's 1 in 683 without. So it is 1 in 512, I see, I see. You have over 84, yo, that is a lot, that is a lot. Very nice. Alright. Ah! When you yawn. Okay. Now then. Oh, new egg. Can't neglect the new egg. Always good for new egg. Alright.
I think it is interesting how, um, like, what words am I looking for to assemble a sentence? I know, like, what I want to say, I just need to figure out how I'm going to say it. Like, people have been censoring themselves deliberately for, like, a while. To not be like put on watch lists, on government watch lists, and shit like that, you know? Like, um. Saying like unalive instead of killing. Um. Threatening people in Minecraft and stuff like that. And. I just wonder if it's ever been effective, you know? Like, I just wonder how much it's ever really solved. In the grand scheme of things, you know? Like, I feel like people have, uh, been very, people are, like, very, like, eager to, like, kind of use that kind of language to, like, oh, not get banned, oh, it's for the algorithm and stuff like that. Like, but did people start saying unalive for the algorithm? Like, was that why it was start started being said? Or was it because... Saying you're going to unalive someone means you're not going to get put on a watch. Like, I, I just wonder, like, where the real origins of this stuff is and if it's ever actually been effective, you know? Because, like, obviously we're getting to the point where people are just starting to use it in everyday language, you know? Like, the internet slang, as internet slang always has, has begun creeping into people's, like, actual ways of speaking to real people to their faces. You know? Which obviously, like, entirely defeats the point of the so-called, like, censoring yourself. Because if you say, I'm alive in front of, like... Let's say, like, a, if, like, a kid uses it in front of, like, a teacher or something. The teacher's still gonna know what that means. You know? Like, the only reason it would have been effective censorship is online where the words could have feasibly been flagged. Well, it was just as cringe as people saying lol. <laughs> lol. I guess, yeah, no, it is in a pretty similar vein. Um... It's funny because, like, I guess I stopped considering that cringe after a while. Like, I never even realized, but I guess there was just a point when I stopped kind of consciously thinking about how weird it is to say lol out loud. Lol out loud. Lol out loud. Um... Like, I guess I just kind of got to a point where... Like, I, I don't think anybody I know says lol anymore. Like, out loud. People still say it in, like, messages and stuff. Because lol... lol I don't use lol when I mean lol as much these days, you know? I say lol when I say something potentially serious and I want to, like, weaken the blow, you know? <laughs> like, I say lol as, like, a toad indicator. If I say something that might sound salty, I'll put a nice lol at the end so people understand I mean it lighthearted. I'm being, like, light-hearted when I'm saying it. I don't... I, I feel like this is a decently common thing. I know that, that was, like, a decent period of time in, like, the late 2010s, where, like, people used LOL more or less when they were, like, saying something very serious. Very serious and very dark. But they didn't want people to worry about them, so they just put LOL at the end. And I don't think that ever worked on me. I'm gonna be honest. Like, people be, like, taught, being like, oh, yeah, no, my life's been going awfully lol. It's like, you can't just put a lol on it and expect me not to be like, oh, no, are you all right? You know? <laughs> like, those three letters don't solve the issue. It logged you out of Twitch. For, for trying to do the emotes? What? Bizarre. But yeah, I find, like, internet linguistics interesting. 
<laughs> That's a very good Vine Boom moment. Finding internet linguistics interesting. No, yeah, I find internet linguistics interesting. Because, like... It's intriguing to watch it go, like, step by step by step into, like, everyday language, you know? Because it does. It does actively, like, kind of... If a term starts becoming popular... It just did it for no reason. Oh, that is bizarre. You didn't even, like, close out... Did you, like, close out of it for it to happen, or did it just happen? Like, halfway through, it just cut off the stream and locked you out. I've distracted myself, I apologize. Um, but yeah, like, um, I'm trying to think of good examples, but I can't remember any good examples at this point. So I saw an interesting video lately that pointed out the fact that, like, we're starting to use, like, video game terms in real life, you know? Like, where we drop in, that's it, where we drop in. Which is obviously, like, Fortnite term that has kind of, like, taken new meaning into, like, where are we going to go today? And stuff like that. Um, I feel like it's been around for quite a while where we're, where we're dropping as well. But I saw someone compare it to sports. Like... Um... What is it called? In a chat, look, you're a core member of the team. Uh, you can log back into Twitch, right? Because I feel like it logging you out halfway through. I'd worry that, uh... You know what? I'm not going to fear Monger. I might just have wrong knee jerk reactions here. Um, sorry, I keep distracting myself. But yeah, no, I find it interesting that, like, um, you forgot it! Oh no. Best of luck remembering. Is it password123? Is that the password? Yeah, 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 no, let, 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 let us help you remember. Is it maybe, like, um, your mother's maiden name? Maybe your first pet? Is it the name of the street you grew up on? Is it a chance? Yeah, sorry, I'll try to be more subtle in my scams next time, you know. I just... I saw the opportunity, I wanted to seize it, you know. Alright. I still have to make a Lee Sen Ali... The, um... A blob. I want to make that one a blob. I'm like almost done with reading Dune, which is pretty cool. I've been, um, yeah, I've, I've been reading the book over the past few weeks. It's a good one. It's a very good book. Been enjoying it. And I'm on like the third part of it now, which is well into part two. It's interesting to see the, the differences um, between uh, the 
the book and the film. Um. What happened again? You know, it's interesting to see the differences between the book and the film. I think that's always, like, the interesting thing to, like, observe in, like, an adaptation. It's like, what do they change? I know some people hate finding out what they changed. I'm, I'm aware that, like, some people do not like, um... Do not like, uh, media being changed in adaptation. I feel like it kind of has to be. Um... But it's interesting seeing, like, what edits are made. Like, I think one of the ones that stands out to me the most is the Harkonnens. Um, and part of me thinks it's like a product of its own time. I just sent Talonflame to the box. Um, let's not do that one. Because, um, like, obviously in... Um, what was it called? In, in the film, the Harkonnens are all, like, bold. They... Like, their skin is incredibly pale and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, in the books, like, as much as, uh, good old Vladimir Harkonnen, um, is still, like, having to be carried around by machinery because he's so overweight, um, he has hair. Um, the places the Harkonnens lived are just lived are just live are described as like a lot more like filled with color. Um, Harkonnen wears like an orange robe at one point. Vlad does. Um, they kind of give like it seems they have like a bunch of like doodads and artifacts that they've like stolen at points and stuff like that, and that makes sense, you know, like but. I feel like the rich collector at this point has become, like, a good archetype, if that makes sense. Like, if you see, like, an old guy with, like, a bunch of fun... With a bunch of fun trinkets and stuff he's collected over time, you think, oh, this guy's a good guy. So it's interesting seeing them, like... It's interesting seeing, like, Vinaville take the idea of, like, um, the Harkonnens and kind of translate it into a more, like, modern sense. Where, obviously, like, these days, like, the super rich are known for, like, their modern structures. Their, like, modern stuff, which is all very minimalist. Little colour and stuff like that. Um, and, like, that's just a thing that stuck out immediately to me. Um between, like, when reading the book, because, like, it's very quickly, like, introduced that, uh, obviously, like, the Harkonnens aren't these, like, monochrome, uniformalist groups. Sir Frogius, hello, how goes it? I hope your week's gotten off to a good start. I'm Shiny Hunting Krogunk today, I'm, um, looking for a full box. Uh, I've already got about four or so. In fact, I think it's six at this point, actually. Uh, but uh, those were all in Scarlet Violet. I'm switching to Sword and Shield to switch it up. Get any shinies lately? Alright. Yeah, hopefully we get to nab another gunk soon. Not going to old my breath. Alright. No, fair enough. Well, best of luck. Hopefully, hopefully you can nap on soon. Alright. Almost at 100, which is pretty cool. We are progressing quickly. Um, a lot quicker than I was expecting. I was expecting um, to probably be more around this point at the end of stream. But I ain't complaining. The more encounters, the better. You're here because you see Frog. Ah, I see, I see. Yes, no, Frog is very good. Love a good Krogunk. Very easily the best Pokemon. No competition at all, really. 
What is uh, what is your favorite frog? Sir Frogius. Right. Yeah, 120 is the next time we're going to need to empty out the boxes. All of the above. Understandable, understandable. I apologize, it was uh, cool to make you have to pick one. Alright. But yeah, I think, like, I get why people dislike it when adaptations change things from the source material. And I think that uh, sometimes, like... I don't know. I guess the question is, is like... What words am I looking for? I'm trying to, like, put into words the fact that How to Train Your Dragon... Is considered a great film, a great franchise, even though it's nothing like the books. Like in the books, Toothless is like a little creature, like an absolutely useless dragon, whereas like in the films, he's like a beast, you know? Um... But then on like the other hand, a movie like the second Percy Jackson. That also changes things up, but it's considered bad, because it executes it poorly. It's like, you have to wonder if it's necessarily the changes in adaptation that's the bad thing, and more like the competence of the storyteller, <laughs> which I guess is a pretty consistent thing, all in all. But I feel like Vinaville had like a very clear... I mean, it's clear Vinaville had a clear idea. Apparently, he's been writing the screenplay, um, like, storyboarding out Dune, uh, his movies, since he was 13. Like, it's cool to see someone with such a lifelong vision get to take the reins. Any luck yet, mate? Unfortunately not, but uh, we are masuda today, so I guess that's not all that much of a surprise. But welcome, welcome back, Brendan. Um, you know, we are a solid hundred encounters in at the moment. All right. But yeah, um, it's been like a while since I've been reading properly, honestly. It's nice to like get back into it. Um, the worms in my ADHD is always a problem, though, because uh, I've been reading a little bit less after getting into like a good stride of it, because I started playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is easy to stay up late playing. I mean, there's like a long JRPG with a lot of content. It's easy to just kind of lose hours in it. Like, sometimes it'll be like, I'm going to progress the story today. And then I'll just do, like, five, five different side quests instead of uh, actually progressing. You have ADHD as well? Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, like, um, I don't know, it's probably going to be, like, a nice thing to have reading when, like, my hyperfixations... And I'm, like, in a in a trench between hyperfixations. Because, like, that's always painful. When, like, there's nothing you want to do. And I feel like reading is a pretty good blank spot for that. I don't know, like... Being between hyperfixations is annoying. Because, like, my general solution to it is, like, just kind of watch YouTube. <laughs> Which... Not the most productive of solutions, I'll be honest. Like, it's hard to get, like, my brain churning when it's not fixated on anything. 
Then I guess there are other fixations that, like, I can't engage with, like, a video game. Um, but yeah, like, I hadn't read for, a, like, ages. I don't know when I stopped reading. I can't remember exactly when I stopped reading. Um, like, I used to read floats. I used to read pages upon pages. Um, like, um... I have, like, a bookshelf chock full of books I've, um, read when I was, like, I'd say between the ages of, like, maybe, like, 11 and, I'm not even sure 13, honestly. Not even sure it got that far. But, um, like, I used to be, like, an avid reader. Um, and then I just kind of fell off at some point, and I'm not sure when or why. Then again, it probably would have coincided with the time I got a mobile. Hate to say it. The attention brick is probably the fault here. As as it tends to be, you know? The attention brick is very good at being at fault, I find. Um, you got scopes getting late and you have to get uh, back... You have to get back your Twitch account or uh, get a new one. Understandable, Bruker. I hope you have a great rest of your day and best of luck with your Twitch account. Is that the music stopping or is that just... Uh... No, it's not. Okay. But yeah, I have, have been enjoying getting back into reading. It also meant I could read through a few books that my sister gave me uh, for my birthday like ages ago. Um, like, she got me a prequel to his Dark Materials, um, the, um, Philip Pullman series that got adapted by the BBC, um, a few years back, um, and actually got adapted a lot sooner by, uh, another company, and turned into the Golden Compass. Um, and she got me the first Witcher book as well. And like, reasonably, those are books that would be right up my alley, you know? Books I would be interested in reading. And I was, I did thoroughly enjoy both of them. Um... The issue is, um, I wasn't reading at the time. Like, I just felt bad, because, like, she got me good books, but I just wasn't in a phase where I was reading. But, I feel like I could, uh, easily, like, kind of change, not easily, but, like, I need to wrangle a good change into, like, my bedtime schedules anyway. Um... Like, I find that, um... Oh, you're a bot! You love to see it! You love you love to see a bot. You love, you, love, you love to see a bot in chat, you know? It's always fun when there's a bot in chat. Who doesn't, who doesn't love... Who doesn't love a good old bot? in chat. So it's always exciting. It's always exciting when there's a bot. Alright. Been a while as well. Been a while since the last bot. Her ugly in bio. <laughs> That's a thought. I guess it depends where... I clicked on the wrong button and closed down all of my tabs. Like...
I feel like I heard somewhere that, like, Pussycat and Pussy have different etymologies. Like, I, I feel like I heard from somewhere that they did actually come from different places. But I wonder if in the Pokemon world, you know. If, uh... If, if the bots on, um, Z... That app that Lysandre bought. The bots on Z, um... Say Perugly and Bio. With the, with the boxes between the letters. Alright. Have a lot of gunks. Oh, we got 112. Is that where we're at? Let's let's check. Let's check. How far away from the edge are we? Six. Cause yeah, we got three there, which means we're up to here. Which means that there's six left. Um. Which means we're at 114, actually. I missed two. It's nice being able to, like, measure them like this, you know? Because, like... Does that mean the real owner of X will face a similar fate? Hopefully. Hopefully. We can dream. Well, the female genitals one, um... Came from Scandinavia. Ah, yeah, no, I, I don't know where I heard it from, but I, like, remember I heard that they did actually have different etymologies. That was... Yeah. So, I'd buy it. As in, like, the pussy originated from Scandinavia. Uh. <laughs> Alright, um. He's not on your hit list anymore because you got a hit Z the other day. Yo! How exciting! I've yet to blow up on Twitter. Maybe one day, maybe one day. I don't know, I'm really bad at text-based social medias. Like, videos I can, like, brainstorm what I'm gonna, like, film as a video and stuff like that. But I, I don't know why, but, like... Text-based ones, I just never do a good job at. Like, I know that, like, a good way to grow is, like, replying to people. Um, I think anything about four likes is a hit, really. Oh, no, it is. You're right. You're 100% correct. Um, I just guess I assumed you meant a general hit. A more, like, publicly considered hit. Um... But yeah, like, I, I don't know what it is about text-based social media. Or, like, commenting. Communication. I, 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 like... I've had about, like, 15 different epiphanies where I've been like, I should reply to people more. And then I fucking don't. I don't reply to anyone. I don't do it. But that was, like, 1k. Jeez, you did blow up. What the hell? 
Now I kind of want to know what you quote. I want. I want to know what you. I guess maybe zote. Is that is that the turn? <laughs> what what did you zote? No, be see what. Next. Maybe. I don't know. I like the. I like. Zoat sounds funny because it sounds like a microorganism. You know? Zoat sounds like a very. It sounds like a fucking micro. Mic. Mi it. I don't need to repeat myself. I might anyway, but I don't need to. Zygote. That's it. That's why that's why my brain is saying it's a microorganism. Um But yeah, like I've had multiple different epiphanies where I'm like, I should respond to people on Twitter and then like talk to people on Twitter and then maybe I can get a few new followers that way, you know? Become a reply guy. I guess the issue is is these days to become a reply guy, you need you need premium. Your trick is to just talk like you've known them for years. Interesting. So you just go like, remember how we used to run? Like that? That what you mean? I remember one time I uh, blew up. I didn't. I think I got like maybe 20 likes. Um, I can't remember why I posted a picture of Claude from Star Wars. It wasn't a picture, sorry. It was a gif. It was a gif of like, um, I think it was Poe Dameron and someone else walking through the Falcon. And then they walk past Claude and then he turns them and then they walk through. Like they walk through another door. Um, and someone responded saying, I thought this gif wasn't looping, I thought it was just very long, so I watched it like 20 times over before realizing, and I was like, no, 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 you've got to watch it more, actually. It does change, trust me. <laughs> and then they responded to me another hour later like, dude, I fucking believed you, what's your problem? <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do, I need to post looping gifs. I need to deceive people. Simples. But yeah, I feel like my issue is just like my retweet to tweet ratio isn't good, you know? I think maybe I could improve on that. I don't know, maybe I'm just like setting up too many barriers. I feel like that's a thing I'm very good at. Is setting myself like... Being like, oh, I should do this. And then being like, no, I shouldn't do this because of this. You know, I'm like, oh, what if people don't care about my Twitter and don't want to follow me and stuff? Because, um, I don't have, because I, like, don't have any, like, actual tweets. I feel like it's very different depending on what your account's a account is about. That is true. I wonder how different it actually is, though, you know? I guess if you are trying to, like, say, grow your YouTube and Twitch channels... There are probably better ways. Maybe. I don't know. That's like my thing. That's the thing I'm unsure about. Like. Because if you become like. A known tweeter. I'm sure if you streamed at that point. Like I'm sure if like Midas. Or Juniper started like streaming. I mean maybe they do. But I'm sure if they did. Like they'd get like a decent amount of viewers off the bat. Because people would know them from... Oh, they're from Twitter, you know? I'm sure, like, they, they could... See success in that way. Well, I guess that was my thought. But, who knows? Pop, 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 pop. I remember once I went on to like a 
like a smaller social media and tried to use it. And I realized pretty quickly... I realized pretty quickly, like, um... What was it called? I realized very quickly that, like, I was getting, like, about 20 likes every post. But, um... What was that app called? I can't remember what it was called. I genuinely can't remember. It was a TikTok knockoff. All I know is, is it was a TikTok knockoff. Um, and I posted a few videos on it. And they got about 20 likes each. And I pretty quickly realized all of the likes were from like... I keep on trying to make up a name. And then I keep on realizing, no, that's not... That name isn't made up, like... The names were like real names. The names were like people's actual names, you know? The names were like first name, last name. And I pretty quickly realized these people liking my tweets aren't real people. These are bots. These are bots used by the app to make it seem more populated. <laughs> That's sad. It, it is. I just find it funny. It's like, it quickly hit me like, there aren't real people on this app. These people interact with my posts. Like, my posts aren't getting interactions. Me and my best friend, Catherine Stewart, 245, exactly, exactly. And like, yeah, no, it was sad. It was like, oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Because I was thinking, like, if I go to, like, smaller apps and try to, um, like, use those, maybe I could, like, corner a very small VTuber audience or Pokemon audience on those apps. But, uh, I couldn't find that many small social media apps. I think most of the things I found were dating apps when I actually tried or, like, networking apps and stuff. Which obviously wasn't what I was looking for. Like, it really does make me wonder if we're going to get a new social media anytime soon. You know? Like, I feel like... Logistically, based on past methods... Based on, like, past trends and methods and such, we do a new social media. But we haven't got one. Pokemon dating app sounds wrong. Sounds like something Power World would do. Um... But, um... What's it called? Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, no, I was thinking it'd just be interesting to, like, um... They're done walking in sleep. <laughs> Time for sleeping together. I was in, like... Okay, I think I misunderstood you. You don't mean a dating app where you date the Pokemon. You mean a dating app where you use Pokemon to get to know the other person. So, like, you say your, like, favourite Pokemon and your favourite region and stuff like that. And then you... <laughs> you match with people based on that. Oh, yeah, no, I feel like we're overdue for new, so new social media. Um, but I feel like maybe we're getting to the point... We're getting to the point of an internet climate where it's hard to take a new social media off. The issue is, is TikTok kind of has that kind of... I mean, however it goes, it still sounds wrong. Yeah, no, it does. Um... Like, if there's going to be a new social media, it needs to present something that none of the others do at this current time, you know? Like, people were really determined to be the next Twitter um, for, like, a solid period of time there. Um, but, like, even Blue Sky, even though it's gone public, hasn't, like, become the new Twitter. Maybe I should try Blue Sky. Um... Because smaller user base, less VTubers like that. 
or active VTubers. But yeah, it feels like everybody was like, oh, we're going to jump to Blue Sky eventually. And then that never happened. Like, it feels like everyone was like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go into Blue Sky instead. And then it, it just, that's never really an occurrence that happened. I think Threads could have gone somewhere if it wasn't so shit. But I don't think, whatever's next isn't gonna be a, isn't gonna be a, um... Twitter replacement. Have I tried YouTube? No, I haven't. What's that? Um. But yeah, I feel like... If there's going to be a new app, it's got to present something new, you know? Never mind, it's probably just a crazy idea. I, I, no, 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 no. I, I'm interested, you know? You've interested in me. What's, what is YouTube? Stick to WhatsApp. I don't have WhatsApp. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. Saying I don't have WhatsApp to the laugh track. You're back, what happened? Uh, basically, um, I don't have WhatsApp. Wait, what am I watching you on then? Um, have you, are you maybe watching me through my window? Perchance is, 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 that might be it. You might just be watching through my window with a pair of binoculars, you know? No, I don't think that is a yippee moment. I think that's a federal offense. But... Like, that's the best way to watch streamers, you know? Is, like, with binoculars. Through their windows. That's what I find. But yeah, like... I, I just wonder, like... Yippee! I just wonder when and if a next social media would appear, you know? Like, um... Because TikTok started in, like, well, not started. TikTok started becoming, like, as big as it did in 2018. Six years ago. Like... You just have to wonder. Because it's just been, like, such a long time since, like, a new social media stayed. Not arrived, because new social medias have arrived. There was that Be Real one that stuck around for a few months. That, like, just pinged you at random times to take a selfie. Um, obviously, Threads had a whole day in the limelight before people realized, wow, this is fucking ass, and then stopped using it. Like... I'm sure most, um... I love ignoring the be real notification once a day. Damn, you haven't, like, turned off or something? Like, I don't know, I, I, I just find it interesting how during the 2010s, it felt like a new social media was popping up every few years. There's been nothing during the 2020s. The only thing that's happened of note in social medias over the 2020s is Twitter being bought by Musk. Other than that, nothing. Some things are more effort than there were. I don't know, I, I, get really, I get really irritated by notifications I'm not actually going to click. Like, TikTok is fucking awful for notifications. Like, um, TikTok gets really needy when you don't use it that much. 
Because, like, I don't. I'm, I do not use TikTok that much. I use TikTok to post every other short I make, because TikTok doesn't like the Pokedex shorts I post. And often I just forget. Oh, to be fair, I never had TikTok notifications on. Like, I have them on just in case people, like, comment and shit, and just so I can gauge how well the video is doing in its early days. But for, like, the longest time, I just kind of left it to do what it did with its notifications. And it would tell me about twice a day about posts random people had made. Um, it would notify, it, like, it still notifies me about likes up to a day after I got them. Just in a desperate attempt to get me back onto the app. Like, it started to be like, your friend liked this post. This person's following this person. Are you interested in that? Like, it's so clear it wanted me on the app again. Um, Have I played Pokey Rogue? I haven't. I've seen videos on it. It looks very interesting, but uh, I've not gotten around to playing it yet. Um... I'll see whatever I, uh, uh, when I open it next. That is fair. That is fair. Maybe I should do it like that instead. Because um, it's not like I have YouTube likes on or anything. I just check those the next morning to see how well it's done. It's a little silly. I've seen people have been leveling their Pokemon up to like a thousand. Because they've added like an endless mode. Which I find pretty funny. Amuses me greatly. To see, like, a level 1,000 Zashin. Like, I don't know. I prefer doing longer series, and I feel like Pokey Rogue was never really going to give into that. And I think I was doing other things at the time when, like, it first released. I guess if it's the next big thing, though, maybe it's worth a, worth a Friday stream. It's a shame we've forgotten the real Pokemon roguelike. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Love a good bit of Mystery Dungeon. Gotta do the Infinite Fusions. Oh yeah, it's only been what, like a year since that was popular? Like... Infinite Fusions was when I realized, like, it's hard to put it into words, but I, like, I saw, like, all those videos of people just reacting to the fusions. I was like, I feel like I can do something on this site, you know? Like, it was when it properly hit me, like, I really need to start trying to make my own YouTube shorts. Um, just because I saw, like, people just going, like, whoa, that's so cool. But, like, Rayquaza Gyarados. Um, who was I looking for? Yeah, no, I played Infinite Fusions when it, like, was first in beta. It was pretty fun back then, but I don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of hype. I feel like it's an interesting enough idea. I'm just not sure how much it interests me at this point. Unlike... As a fan game, it, it's it's pretty old at this point, you know? Like, it never really interested me, which is why I played Sweet instead. I tried to play Pokemon Sweet and post my reactions to the, uh, to the Poker Sweets. 
that was like the reason I play Pokemon Sweet was because Pokemon was because Pokemon Infinite Fusion was taken off. And I stand by that. That was a good decision. That was a good playthrough. I enjoyed Pokemon Sweet. And I got some pretty good reactions out of that as well. <gasps> Wait! We got one! What the hell? <laughs> no way! That's 142 is so fast. What the hell? Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Hell yeah. All right, what are we naming the gunk? Did, 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 did I skip it? I'm gonna have to go back now. Alright. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot to release them. <laughs> They've begun pouring into the other boxes. Wait, where's the... There we go. There we go. I don't have a shiny bronzer. Why are you here? Um... Oh, it's probably from my, uh... The infestation. <laughs> Name it Frogger. Like the game? Alright, let me just park these two. Shit, that's not the right button. Um, let me park these two. It has begun. The, the crow gunk infestation. Alright, there's no new egg here. That's fine. I'm going to get the final two eggs hatched and then we'll move on to the next crow gunk. We've only got about half an hour left, so we're probably not going to get another. Oh, I didn't mean to take the ditto. Alright, let me, let me put the ditto back. I guess I could put the other Krogunk in for now, right? Where is it? Where's the other Krogunk? Oh, it's here. Okay, let's do Great Ball next. Alright. Let me... fly to a Pokemon Center so I can rename the Gunk, because I entirely fumbled naming it. Entirely fumbled the... Uh... Fumbled the um Actually getting our ladder nickname. Okay. Um additionally I should probably put you back away. Right, so I believe yeah, yeah, here it is. Here's here's our Pokeball Gunk Poke the the, 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 the Pokeball Gunk. Alright. No, Krogunk isn't a fine nickname. We can go we can go better. Frogger. Okay. Hell yeah. Krogunk. Krogunk numero uno. I was not expecting. I was not expecting at all to uh get the get 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 the gunk today, you know? I was thinking, okay, this is going to be like a nice multi-stream venture. Is this the shiny one or is this a different one? No, this is the shiny one. Um, oh, my Dalmais! I forgot about some of these. Here's my Draco Zolt. I'm proud of my Draco Zolt. Um, and the Zorora from the event. Um, but yeah, here's, 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 the, here's the man of the hour, though. Here's the man of the hour. Okay. Um, now... We have an issue to sort out. <laughs> we we have a, 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 a big issue to sort out, actually. Because, uh... We got about 20 too many of the Krogunks. 142 is a very quick hunt, though. I feel like I got really lucky on my last Krogunk hunt as well. I think I got, uh... Got it in a similar amount of encounters, right? 
I'll have to check on the stream. Because I believe it was a YouTube stream I did the Krogon hunt on. But like, <laughs> look at them all. Absolute infestation. You should shiny one other frog. I mean, I'm 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 looking for a box full of Krogunk. That's my goal, is to get a uh, is to get one of the Pokemon boxes full of Krogunk. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try and get a Poke. I'm going to try and get Krogunks in all the Pokeballs I can, which I believe is more than thirty. I believe it's about thirty-two Pokeballs. Um. So I'll be getting many other shiny Krogunk. In fact, I already have quite a few other shiny Krogunk. Alright. But yeah, we probably won't get a uh, second today. I will not. I will not expect a second. But uh, we can get, we can start getting into the next hunt. Okay, here, here we go. These are the Krogonks where they're meant to be. I like it in Pokemon Rumble. If you release a few of the same one, then you get the evolution. Oh, dude, you just unlocked a memory in my brain. I always remember Kobolai and Sacrifice in those games. I don't know why. I remember Kobolai and Sacrifice and how how devastated I was picking up rusty Kobolai off the floor. I was, I was, I was devastated. I really wanted to replay Rumble World, but it was really slow when I tried it. Like, it was incredibly laggy, and honestly, I was devastated. Um... Pour me up inside. But yeah, I don't know why. Rumble World always stood out to me. I mean, it was like the first Pokemon game on the 3DS. It's like getting it was like a a, 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 a big thing for me. That and having a working top screen. Like, I always remember the shock I felt upon finding out that Alder's hair was that bright red. Because, like, on my shitty DS screen that was broken after, like, years of use, I was in the 180 degree gang, and, uh, obviously when you're in the 180 degree gang, sometimes you shunt it back a bit too far, and I did that a few too many times, and it tinted the screen green, and, like, Alder's hair was this, like, kind of murky, orangey green colour for me, it was very muted. It wasn't as loud as it is in the actual games. So, like, I saw Alder's hair and I was like, what the hell? It's that re it's that, that It's meant to be that color? That's crazy. Like, most of the Pokemon it was fine with because they had, like, other appearances and shit that I could, like, look at and be like, oh, okay, that's what that Pokemon was meant to look like, you know? But, like, Alder, I don't think I saw any Alder art. Or nothing. So I just saw his bright red hair and was like, "Whoa!" It's nice having functional, functional uh, DS screens. I will say though. Alright, almost done with these, and then we can actually move on to the next Krogunk. Alright. Ah, the joys in releasing. I mean, it's more than 60, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it was like, what? I can, I can tell you how many it was. It was, it was 82. It was 82 Krogunk. That I let pile up in the boxes. I need to be a little more on the ball. 
next time on the Pokeball. <laughs>、right. I'm glad someone appreciates my, my comedy genius. Alright, let's uh. I don't have an excuse、uh, like that for a misconception. I always thought the Centrite was some kind of worm thing because of its Rumble Sprite. That's also fair.、Um, Centrite always standing on its tail definitely influenced a lot of people's opinions on it. I think it did me as well. Whoa, it's done. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll hatch the final two eggs and just see what's in them. So, when you encounter for the first time through that game, probably. Oh, no, that's fair, that's fair. I think at that point I knew most Pokemon. Just because I'd, uh. What was it called? I played through Diamond and Pearl, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Black and White by that point. And I played games like、uh, Ranger as well. Pokemon had, always seep Pokemon had already seeped into my core by the time I played Rumble World. Alright. Nope. No more shinies in the final two. Oh well. Oh well. We got one shiny though, which is pretty hype all the same. No need to expect more. Alright, I, I should probably have just flown over. I feel like I'm overcomplicating things by riding over manually. Um. Especially with the fact that、uh, I'm 150% planning to like, go to the toilet after I get back to the daycare. Like, if I just. If I, if I、uh, just flew over there, I could like, have gone immediately. But instead, I procrastinated. I should shiny hunt Froakie. I will at some point. I will at some point. But I do want to get this box of shiny crow gunk, you know? Um. I also saw Makuhita for the first time in one of the Ranger games. Thought the red circles were its eyes. Ah, fair. No, I can see that. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the toilet quickly. I will be right back. Make sure to stay tuned, because after I am back, we will be continuing on with the Krogon Hunt.
And we are back, back again. Alright. Piss GG, piss GG indeed. Alright, let me get my tear soup in. Until like 2022. Okay. Maybe that's a bit long. Like, even in Auras. Even in Auras, you thought those were its eyes. You even used Hariyama. <laughs> like, okay, it's, it's looped around from, like, what the hell, and it's now funny, so, like... I, I, I guess you get to keep it, you know? Like, it, 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 yes, it's become funny again, so it's fine. You're like, our oh, cute wrinkly foreheads. Like... Cray Dilly, though, I knew that guy's true face the second you saw it. How, how wise. Cray Dilly, you locked in for Cray Dilly, as they say. Alright. Our first Great Ball Krogunk. You see, this Krogunk has great balls. Right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Just needed to double check. Make sure I wasn't doing it wrong. Alright. Sure does, it sure does. Alright, uh, let me just double check I'm over the right box. I am, I am. I am over the right box. Don't want another infestation. Alright. I'm, I've definitely... Yeah. I've definitely had a misconception over time. I'm trying to think of them. Trying to trying to think what incorrect assumptions I made over time. Like notable ones, because I feel like there have been a couple. But I cannot name them. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. If I can remember any, I'll say them. But uh, for now, they are buried in my mind. Weedle and Diglett's nose? No. They got their big red noses in it. Or are you saying that's one you had? We are hatching these eggs too quick. What about Brendan's hat versus hair? Oh no, I think I did see that as um, hair at first as well, yeah. But I feel like everybody saw Brendan's hat as hair until his like aura sprite. His like aura look when it was very clearly just a hat. Shiny spot, um. Well, it's like a mouse with one tooth. I've seen that. Yeah, no, I, I've seen that, but uh, I, I never, I never fell prey to it. Hmm. Maybe I'm just that good at reading Pokemon, you know. Yeah, yeah, 74, okay. You know, I, I feel like there should be, like, an obvious... An obvious... Oh, yeah, I made this misconception. But I cannot remember it. 
The only one that sticks out to me is Alder's hair. And that wasn't really a misconception. That was just, uh... My DS was fucked up. <laughs> if you look at the Gen 1 sprite, it's harder for sure. Oh, yeah, that's a fair. That's fair, that's fair. No, yeah, I obviously started in Gen 4. So by that point... Hmm. No, yeah, I, I cannot think of one. Like, again, I'll say, I'll say one if I do. But, um... Cannot. Alright. Any other fun Pokemon misconceptions in chat? Lucky Boy had colour in it. I did, I did. They were the wrong colours, but I had colours. Well, they weren't when I first started playing. I can't remember when my DS was really fucking up. It was by the time I had black and white. I'm not sure if it was fucked up on Heart Gold, Soul, Silver. Cannot remember. If, uh... It was pre Heart Gold, Soul, Silver that my screen got that fucked up. It might have been, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll play Hot Gold Soul Silver after uh, the Egglock. Because it's been a while since I last played HGSS. I don't think I played HGSS on the channel. I played Crystal on the channel, but not Hot Gold Soul Silver. But I'm also aware it's been a while since I've done like anything but a Nuzlocke series, so... I wonder if I should start doing more interesting playthroughs. Well, not more interesting, but like more varied playthroughs. Instead of the same thing over and over again. Hi there. Because, like, I think my last non-challenge run series was probably Super Mystery Dungeon. Did you think Ferris Eve is bugged? You see, that was a one-time mistake. I was aware Ferris Eve is Grass Steel. I guess that is a misconception, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. I did the classic. I thought a Noctowl. I thought Noctowl was a psychic type for a long time. Um, I thought Octillery was electric type um, when I was younger because um, because the uh, Volkner had one. Kidding, okay, he's just Memorial. Uh, he does look he does look pretty bug type. Yeah, no, I could definitely see it going bug or grass. Uh, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that mistake, but yeah, no. I used to think Octillery was electric type, because Vulcan had one. Um... Oh, I just reminded myself of something. It's interesting, because... That would have made it cooler, since they couldn't go all the way with the tank stuff. It would have, it would have. I I think it would have been cool that way. But, like, the only reason I thought it was Electric type was just because it was on the Electric Gym Leaders team. So that would have made sense, but obviously not enough sense. Um... Yeah, no, people were calling my latest YouTube short. Uh, not my latest, sorry, Saturday's YouTube short. They were saying it was a trick question. It was a tricky question, but I'm trying to figure out if it was actually a trick question. Because my question was, which of these Pokemon doesn't evolve with an item? It was Vicavolt, it was Vicavolt, Gengar, and Bolton. And the answer is... 
just want to see if anybody wants to guess. I guess, have you guys, you guys might have seen the short. I hope you've seen the short. I hope you guys watch Kahir Live YouTube shorts, you know. They're good, they're good stuff. Um, I guess I've already, uh, I totally forgot about uh, the Lincoln call, but you got it right, right anyway. Ah, fair. Yeah, no, um, yeah. So the correct answer is Bolton. Uh, Gengar evolves with the Linking Cord, and Vicar Volt evolves with a Thunderstone as of Gen 8. Should remember evolving Yampa, yeah. And I put Bolton there, because it seems like a Pokemon that could evolve with a Thunderstone. And people were saying it was a trick question. Is it? Is it a trick question? Is that what a trick question is? Or are people just mad that I, uh... Like, asked... Like, it, it was a very, like... Because they... I guess it is a trick question, because they didn't always evolve like that. That is true. That is true. I mean, well, a trick question. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, like, I feel like it's not, like... If people are going to mold over it, then let them mold over it. I feel like, uh... It's got an, it's got an answer if you've, you know, played their games past Sword and Shield. I don't think... Was Vicar Vault in Sword and Shield? I forget. It's funny because someone said, uh... Pre-Gen 8, all of them evolve, uh... None of them evolve by a uh, stone. And someone was like, <laughs> How do you evolve Yampa pre-Gen 8? <laughs> I appreciate that guy being in my corner. And then the other one... Oh, God. No, I find it so funny. Someone made, like, a... Oh, furry! Get the shotgun! Joke. The classics, you know? But their profile picture was Link from Breath of the Wild, and it's like, Buddy! Buddy, look what game is representing you as a person. Like, did, did he... Did, did, did he play the game? Did he, did he play through the game? Did you see what's in the game? It just amuses me. So it was just double checking that I had the right amount of crow gunk. Alright. Um it wasn't Sword and Shield after. I find it an interesting change, but I find it a funnier change in considering in Legends Arceus, evolution, location-based evolutions are brought back. Like. It just amuses me because, like, Pokemon like Gengar now evolve via Linking Cord and Trade, and then... I guess maybe they figured that some Pokemon were getting multiple evolution methods anyway, so they might as well commit to it. Does, like, Glaceon and Leafeon still evolve via Ice Stone and Leaf Stone and BDSP? Is the Ice Stone even a thing in BDSP? Because Sylveon ain't in BDSP. Like, is Magnezone still in Mount Cornet, or do you evolve it with Thunderstone still? Alright. These are relatively unknown questions, because, uh, no one remembers... Testing in BDSP. No one, no, no one stuck around in BDSP long enough to test this kind of stuff. Except maybe the three people modding it. You never even played BDSP. Ah, fair. Were you, like, holding tight for Legends Arceus? 
Or did you just really not like the look of it? But using my psychic powers, I can tell you, uh huh, maybe. You know what? Balance is good enough for me. I mean, yeah, I'm, I might go back to BDSP at some point. I don't know. I'm going to go back to BDSP for at least a little bit. Um, in BDSP, Mount Quinnette still evolves stuff. I know it still evolves stuff, but did they take away the Thunderstone functionality with Magnazone? I had Pearl and DS, uh, just had Pearl and DS, and thought the new ones were ugly, so I decided not to. That's fair, that's fair. Um. Yeah, no, I can't slate that. It is a shame. I wonder if, like... It would have been nice if they nailed the style they were so clearly going for. Like, I think the games would have looked good if they, like, properly hit home with the kind of vibes they wanted the games to have. Think it's both? Yeah, no, that's what I meant. Like, is is it? Oh, we locked him for that. Um, Because, again, it's both in Legends Arceus. Yeah, I remember the, uh, the week BDSP uh, released. Um... One of the managers at the place I worked came up to me and was like, Hey, you here. Can you do overtime uh, this Friday? And I was like, no, I have a family thing on. <laughs> it was like, of all the fucking times. Of all the fucking times. Um, to ask me for overtime. It was that week specifically. Real, you have your priorities right. I do. I'm not going to slate my priorities. They are very correct. And that was the day I bought the controller I'm using right now. It's an Animal Crossing New, uh, New Horizons trailer. Uh, trailer? Controller. I was going to say New Leaf then. And then I was like, oh, that's not correct. But, like, I only had, like, said the new part. And I could have pivoted to the correct name. Um... I do I more on both than just one method? It makes sense, but BDSP is such an accurate remake, I just wonder. But yeah, I'll be hunting Krogunk in BDSP uh, one time to get it in a Safari Ball, I think. More interesting to get a Safari Krogunk. I am H.U. Is New Leaf any good? I thoroughly enjoyed New Leaf. New Leaf was my first Animal Crossing game. Um, and I sunk hours into it. Um, I... Yeah, no, I, 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 I vividly remember churning away at New Leaf. Getting Brewster and the cafe sorted. I remember I made a perfect apple orchard around retail. You have it, but have New Horizons, so not sure if you'd go back. That's my thought, more or less. Like, sometimes I've considered going back to New Leaf, but I think I might do New Hor another New Horizons playthrough at some point. Like, I really just wonder if the rep New Horizons has is how much of it's deserved and how much of it is everybody squeezed every little inch they could have out of the game more or less when it released because it released literally right as uh, lockdown started you know like I get it. I get the complaints. I genuinely do. I think it would be nice if the characters had more to say, and I hope in the next game they use the more processing power to make the villagers feel more alive. But I really wonder 
how much New Horizons is genuinely as bad as people act like it is, and how much of it is people just squeezed everything they could have out of it immediately, instead of playing it slowly like was clearly over the course of the year, as it was clearly intended as they wanted you to do. They wanted you to slowly progress throughout the game, so when they released the updates for the game, it'd be like, oh, new stuff to do, just as you were running out the old stuff to do. But obviously, the poor timing of its release... Um, or the arguably great timing of its release. Its release was a double-edged sword, because on one hand, it meant it did really fucking well, but on the other hand, uh, it meant people squeezed out all the content really quickly. But my assumption is, is the free content was meant to release just as you were running out of things to do, so you could be like, oh cool, more stuff to do. Um, but uh, I think fan reception to that model very much suggests that they probably won't be going back to it. <laughs> you want them to bring back the NES, cons uh, NES game, NES game consoles? Yeah, no, that was very cool. I remember those. Well, no, I don't remember those, sorry. I remember the 3DS and Wii U. Um, they'll let you play mini games on them. I think those were the mini games from the board game. But yeah, no, um I'll be interested to see what the next Animal Crossing game looks like. Cause I feel like it'll very much take a different shape because of the reception to New Horizons. And I hope that uh since it'll be on a more powerful console, they'll be able to like have the villagers have more personality and stuff and do more things on the island. On on the in the area. But yeah, I probably will uh, revisit New Horizons at some point. Oh no, the NES ones had the original full, full games. Yeah, no, I remember that. Um, or, no, sorry. I don't remember that myself. I remember people talking about that. And I think that was very cool. Alright, I'm going to hatch this last egg. And then we'll hop on to Pokidoku. So we're at 25. I probably... Well, yeah, no. We'll, we'll, we'll see how the programs go. Uh, and obviously, next week, we'll be back on Minchino. Um, the week after that, I might do more Scarlet Violet. I might do more Sword and Shield. Maybe I'll crack out BDSP. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I just wanted to uh, properly mix things up rather than just uh, not do that. <laughs> I wanted to properly mix things up rather than... Um, Just doing what I did last time. Alright. Pokidoku. Love a good bit of Pokidoku. Now then. Alright. We have Door Type, Galar, and Hoenn. We have Fire, Bug, and Final Evolution. Interesting. Dual type fire types. Scovillain comes to mind. Ogapon Hearth Flame. Love a bit of Mr. Bashkillin propaganda. Oh, I love a little bit of Mr. Bashkillin propaganda. Um, I think I'm gonna go Ogapon Hearth Flame for dual type fire though. Two point four. Nice, nice. Okay, then dual type bug. Um, dual type bug. Low kicks is bug dark. 2.7. And then final evolution dual types. I think again, um, Paul Day is probably a good bet. I feel like Duraladon always scores pretty low. Oh, Charlie Don scores pretty low. 0.6. Hmm, I wonder. You wonder? Alright, then fire types from Gala. Because I've luckily done all Poldean mons from the first row, so I've not ruled out any Gala mons. Um, 
Gala fire types, obviously we got Colossal and G-Max Colossal. We got Sizzlepede, Center Scorch, G-Max Center Scorch. Bug tool type. Oh, Rainer. Yikes. I forgot Rainer. I apologize, Rob. Um, I was gunning straight for Poldea because that tends to do the best. Um... Gala fire types and Gala bug types kind of overlap, honestly, because Center Scorch is both a bug and a fire type. Um, unfortunately, I'm sure Genomax Butterfree does not count as a bug type from Gala, even though it's a Galarian Genomax form. What other bug type Gala ones are there, though? Because I know there's Blip Bug and Dot Dotler and Orbeetle and then Genomax Orbeetle. Um, I feel like there are more bug types in Gala, though, that I'm missing, that I'm not considering right now. There are other fire types in Gala that I'm not considering, is the other question. Because Carbio has Arcanine, Ninetales, and then uh, Center Scorch. Um... Not like Urshifu is fire, nor is like Caligrex's forms or anything, nor are any of the birds, nor are... Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go Colossal. Regular Colossal, not GMAX. 4.7, that's pretty high. That's pretty high, actually. And then Bug Types... Um, I'm gonna go Center Scorch regular. Ten point six. Ah, that's not a good answer. That's not a good answer. Um, and then final evolution from Gala. Obviously, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Or just Mr. Rhyme, really. Rune Grigus. Um. Snom. Ah, shit. Yeah, Center Scorch will not have been a good one. Um, I guess the question is, is how many people would remember Mr. Rhyme? Probably did worse. That's a bad point. I don't know. I felt like it might not have. Center Scorch getting 10% is... Hmm. Anyway. Um, Galarian Final Evolution. <laughs> Alchemy? I'm feeling good about Alchemy, actually. 1.6! Okay, then Hoenn Fire Types, Hoenn Bug Types, and Hoenn Final Evolutions. I feel like... Okay, Hoenn Fire Types is Primal Groudon, the Blaziken line, Mega Blaziken. I feel like Mega Blaziken did the worst last time, right? Five percent, that's pretty low. Hoenn Bug Types, obviously Wurmple. Um, Wurmple, Silcoon, Cascoon, Dust Dox, and Beautifly. That is five all from that evolution line. People are going to remember all that evolution line at once. Also, Ninkata, Ninjask, and Shedinja. Um, all of those are also bug types from Hoenn. Um, I don't know, like, single stage bug types or anything. There's not a bug type gym leader, I don't think, so I can't use that as a reference, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I'm going to go with Cascoon, honest. No, I'm going to go with Silcoon. 9.9! That was a horrible choice. I should have gone Wampole or Dust Ducks. And then Final Evolution. Um... Final Hobbit. I'm going to go Exploud. 2.3. Okay, that was pretty low. You forgot the best two, sadly. Armoldo um, and Anorith. Oh, Volby and Illumai, Sir Skit. Silcoon was at the top. Shedinja was also very high. Oh, I should have remembered some of those guys. Uh, Medicham was the lowest. That's interesting. People always forget Medicham. In fact, x was pretty high. People are starting to remember the x line. Wishcash was lower. Uh, Darmanitan was the highest there. Um, Alchemy was pretty low, though. Frostmoth was the lowest here. Snorm was lower. 
All the Orb Eater line got higher than Center Scorch, but Snom and Frostmoth were lower. Oh, he meant like objectively the best, not lower scoring. Ah, uh, did you mean like uh, Suskit and Illumise then, or? Not Sus Suskit and Masquerade. Colossal was actually the lowest there, and so was Mega Blaziken, so I did good there. Charizard G Max was the lowest fire dual type. Um, Ogapon actually got pretty high. Oh, of course, of course. I've done that how I forgot that you liked Masquerade. Um, very shameful on my part. A lot of point two final evolutions here. What the hell? What was my final evolution? It was point six. People remembered that pretty well, honestly. I should have thought to go to a multi-formed Pokemon. Where did Barrascuda get, anyway? Higher than Alchemy, it seems. Maybe. I might be wrong. No, it's lower. Um, how did Fish do? How did... Bastion Legion got pretty low. To be fair, Bastion Legion split into two. Most unique was 22, and I got 40, damn I. I did, like, decently well, but, like, not that well, considering. Um... But, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna end off for now, though. Um... Thank you all for coming. I hope you all had great times. I certainly have. Been thoroughly enjoying this hunt. Next stream, we'll be continuing on with our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Uh, last stream, we beat Katie only. That's all we managed to do, because there's very, very long tutorials in that game. Um, but uh, next stream, we will be continuing on, and we will be fighting Brashius, Clawf, and maybe Bombardia. We'll see. We'll see how quick, how quick we get through things. But yeah, I hope you've all had a great time. I certainly have. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Goodbye and good night.